In this video, I'm going to talk about the two similar and sometimes confusing English expressions since and for. These two time expressions are commonly confused in English. But after watching this video, you'll have a good understanding of the difference and when to use these words. Let's get started. Let's start with since. Since shows when a past action first started. We always need a starting point with since. So when you use since, you always need a specific time expression. Let's take a look at some example sentences. The first sentence says, I have been working since 8 o'clock this morning. You'll notice that the specific time expression comes after since, and it shows when this person started working. The next sentence says, she has been on a diet since August. The specific time expression here is August, and it comes after since. It shows when she started dieting. Okay. Now I will talk about for. We use for to express a length of time in English. It is used to express duration or how long something has happened. Let's take a look at some examples. The first sentence says, I have been working for five hours. In this case, we have a duration, five hours, and it comes after four. The next sentence says, she has been on a diet for three months. Again, we have three months, which shows the duration, how long she has been on a diet. Again, notice it comes after the word for. Now, let's do a checkup. In this conversation, there are two sentences. In one of the sentences, we should use since, and in the other, we should use for. Take a moment to think about where we use since and for. A says, have you been working here blank 2008? You'll notice the specific time expression 2008. Remember, when we use a specific time expression, we put since before the expression. So A says, have you been working here since 2008? B says, no, I've only been working here blank two weeks. Two weeks is a duration. It shows how long this action has been happening. So the best answer here is four. No, I've only been working here for two weeks. So let's take a look at the whole conversation. A says, have you been working here since 2008? And B says, no, I've only been working here for two weeks. Now, you know the difference between since and for. Be sure to practice these two time expressions. They're very important to properly express time and duration in English. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.